Hey, and welcome to Friday Tech Tip. My name is Carslo Mielbach, and today we're going to talk about Front Row. Front Row on Windows System. Well, what is Front Row? Well, I think the easiest way is to actually show what it is. So what we do here is that we go into a Windows uh, meeting room and we join the meeting. So now we join it. When we join the meeting in here, this is the normal default that we have. We are coming into a meeting and there is some content sharing uh, from another uh, participating here on um, on the left and on the right we have the video fee from the different participants. Uh, we also have uh, one in, uh, in Spotlight, uh, so that will be the one that's are presenting. So if we want to change it to um, front, row, front row mode, we're going to go back here on the console and here we have the decision to make what layout we want and we pick front row. When we pick front row we have the options to decide which uh, side to put the raise hand and chat option. Uh, I'll show what that is uh, in a second. So if we go back here um, we can then see that now we have a different layout. We still have the content sharing on the left and we have the video fees and the spotlighted person on the right. But we also have the options to see if somebody's raising a hand. So let's say, for example, now here we are clicking on that one. And now uh, a participant has uh, raised his hand and everybody in the meeting room can see it. Um, we can also see if there are more raising a hands and in which order they're coming in. So let's also raise uh, Peter Peterson's hand. And now we can see that. Plus, that if somebody is chatting, in it will come up here as well. Um, so this is a front row uh, layout. Really uh, awesome, powerful one. Um, and uh, again, if we go back to what I was saying, uh, we have the option to decide which sides uh, we should have uh, the chat or raise hand or if it should be visible at all so we can actually hide it as well. But in here we have the option uh, to set what we want to set. So, and again, if you really like that layout and you want to have it as default, um, how do you do that? Because again, as I was showing, it was not the default uh, layout. So what you can do uh, on the, um, the, the XML file that you have on the Windows system, you will have the experience or option to set in this, um, this front row experience by adding this one into the Skype setting XML. Uh, you will also have the option to um, to decide uh, which side to have a uh, raise hand, a meeting, or if you want to hide uh, a panel. Uh, and the way it does is that you have right here that uh, number three, that is a uh, raise hand, and uh, number two, that is uh, the chat list, and one is hiding. And then you can go in and say that, well, if you want to swap this one around, you just say two and three, or if you want to hide something, you go in and say, uh, in this case, then we will be have in chat on the left and we have nothing on, uh, on the right. So that is the way you adjust uh, those things. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and just a uh, little browser up uh, where you actually uh, find the different location in here. Uh, we, uh, we have um, the setting uh, for where we put the uh, Skype setting XML file. And uh, pretty much what it is, is that we are adding the text in here, save it to the file, drop it into the location, restart the device, it will read the changes and uh, then uh, the settings will be added and the uh, new front row layout will be, uh, be visible and set up the way you wanted it. So that was a short walkthrough on what front row is and how uh, to set a default. Uh, a very good thing is that you can decide it per system. It's not something that you roll out to all the system. Again, it's defined in the Skype setting XML. So if you add to a room one, then it doesn't affect room two and, and, and so on. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you uh, next time.